What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Good, The Bad and The Stupid. It's Friday the 20th of March and welcome if you've not been here before. It's a podcast and it's a video. Um, anyway, the news, what's the news? The big news is it's all shut. The bars, the clubs, the restaurants, the gyms, all shut. So if you had plans, Friday, they could have done it on another day, you're not fucking Friday, right? Everyone's just getting their ready. <laughs> Everyone's just co curling their hair. Everyone's just fucking ironing the trousers, whatever you do on your way out. Putting your last bit of like touches on your makeup and your aftershave and whatever else. Next thing you know, what? Everything's shut. You're joking. The night's off. What are we going to do? We'll have to stay in and play with all this toilet roll. <laughs> what else can we do? Um, but yeah, so it's shut for the next foreseeable future. It's going to feel like a real shit Christmas day. You know, when you fucking want to go out, you get halfway through the day and you think, you know what, I've had enough of this, but you can't go anywhere because it's all shut. It's going to be a lot of those. So uh, you have to start getting creative with your time, try and find something to do. It's a good job I got this podcast for nobody to listen to. Maybe one or two more will because uh, the fucking, you're going to get bored of everything else and maybe you'll come and get bored of listening to me as well. So yeah, but I've been down to the shop today and I swear to God, everyone's on edge. There was a woman, and to be fair, this woman was fucking coughing her head off, walking <coughs> walking around, and I'm coughing now, <coughs> walking around the uh, the aisles. And uh, every aisle I went in, she was always behind me and she was coughing the whole way. So I just fucking quick stepped away from her. I was doing like one of those horse, you know, like uh, dressage moves every time she'd come anywhere near me. But she was constantly coughing, and she was about 60. Uh, I don't know whether anybody's told her, because they ain't testing anybody, so whether they've told her. I mean, everybody gets cuffs, but <laughs> now people are just on edge. All of a sudden, as far as, I'm, as, far as anybody's concerned, you're ill until proven, other, until proven otherwise. It's a strange... Uh, but you got to laugh. I'll just find the funny side of it, to be honest. Until uh, until it gets me, I'm going to have to fucking laugh at about it, laugh about it, but... Uh, I was going to say, the, the police have smashed a, a toilet roll ring. This is embarrassing, I'll tell you what. You wouldn't want to be this guy. You wouldn't want to be fucking go down in the crime box uh, under this guy's uh, um, criminal record. It's been done for buy, bulk buying loads of toilet roll and stuck in it and whatever, it's for resale and whatever else. And he got busted by armed police. <laughs> they fucking steamed in. I don't, surely that was, I don't even know that was illegal, but they they, they fucking maybe the 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 chief officer's just had enough. He's been fucking trying to wipe his ass for a week, and he's just gone fuck this. I've heard a rumor that there's a fucking storage fall down here. Let's def the bank robbery. Let's head over to these guys and bust that ring. We're going to have them. And the bust in there, and the guy tried to cough in his face. That's going to be the new one. He was coughing in his face and that, and he says, uh, despite him coughing at us, he didn't stop us finding out. He had no tax, no MOT, and, in, and, an, and an illegal tyre. So he won't know fucking Scarface. He won't build in an empire based on the, those credentials. It was a this fucking toilet roll. Toilet gold rings in there. How did you make your fortune? Well, you know, remember that fucking... Remember that period where everyone was getting ill back in the uh, in the 2020s and everyone needed toilet roll? They call me the shit king. <laughs> Literally. But you are the shit fucking criminal because you've gone down to put him inside for it as well. So there you go. That's police doing proper police work. Um, on the tube, there's a picture there of people on the tube and the tube was packed and I swear to God, I bet they were just fucking... Nobody's got a face mask on, but you got to have a face mask on the tube. And <laughs> you just like, I'll I tell you what, you've got to have a face mask on the tube any day of the week anyway. You should normally have one on just because it's fucking, it's just enclosed air, isn't it? It's just shut. There's no uh, real kind of air down there, but I'm only kidding. I'm just playing uh, playing devil's advocate to the fucking game here, but the, everyone looks pissed off anyway because they've shut loads of stations and they've all had to fucking tunnel into this one i don't care virus or not the tubes are fucking pain in the ass to be on it really is i mean i've been in there on months and months ago and somebody was sneezing in my face and his, his face was there but he had his headphones in so he weren't he weren't like he didn't like know the the fucking you know he weren't he weren't checking the sound of his sneezes and everything he was like sniffing it all back up as well luckily but um 
I was just holding my breath and chucking, hold it, turning my head away and holding my nose. Uh, one guy, uh, I'm going to give this guy a pass. He's been selling toilet roll and fucking uh, one pound a roll he's been selling it for, which is cheaper than getting it in the shops. But he's a homeless guy and he's got his hands on some and he's been selling it outside uh, the Strand in London. So that's all right. He's homeless and he's fucking trying to turn a quid to get off the street for the night. So uh, that's well worth buying. A he's not even extorting anybody, is he? There's a guy the other day who was selling something like fucking hundred pound for, for some on the internet, and people are buying it. The fucking dumbasses. You can buy it on an official website probably for like not the the normal price, but someone's going hundred pound for seven or fifteen toilet rolls. I tell you what, there's a lot of fucking fools in the money. You just got to be prepared to take advantage, haven't you? But unfortunately, I'm not that way inclined. I'm the one to lose the fucking money. And the two, two people are doing the Titanic, doing the uh, down the toilet, the toilet rolled aisle with the uh, violins, <laughs> doing their, standing in the toilet roll aisle with the violins because they've gone down there and now they're playing like the sink, the ship sinking. That's quite funny. Anyway, China are doing well. They've cleared it out of there where they were. So the fucking, we need to get them over here. The Chinese get them over and fucking with the battle plan. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, the rule book, forget Donald Trump, what he's saying, fucking war of words with them. I think we need to get on side with them and fucking get him to help. See, what, what did you do to fucking clear it up? Because we're only at the beginning. Um, anyway, moving on, other news. Uh, a jail with a grocery store, Art House, a jail with a grocery store, Art House Cinema and a barista made coffee has been compared to a holiday resort. Some of UK's most se most serious offenders. Oh, I thought it was just like the bottom end criminals. I'm going to say, fucking nice one. If you're going to go inside, like for, you know, something that's not too, uh, not too bad, then, you know, that's a good place to go and see it out, isn't it? Just chill and fucking get your head together. Go, you know what? I ain't doing that again. Because you can work both ways. Um, but these are saying it's some of the worst worst offenders and they've got a games room, parks, runs and seven aside footy. But then you've got fucking Julian Assange doing fucking 24 hours in solitary confinement. What the fucking hell is that about? You've got the worst criminals in the world or some of the worst criminals in the country fucking doing uh, art house cinema. I mean, I'm all for it. It's rehabilitation. So, you know, they might come out of there and go, you know what, I'm really, I'm just going to go to the cinema. <laughs> I want to go see that... Uh, foreign film that's on his mates going nah fucking come on we're going to go and burgle that fucking house at the road now nah. I'm going for a coffee and talk about it. it's a film club but um, my point was that Julian Assange is treated like shit and like literally fucking to near breaking point why can't they put him in a place like that he's, never, he's not even a, like a, a threat to anybody is he really he's only a threat on the keyboard to fucking the powers that be so, you know, why can't he enjoy fucking sit it out in there until he gets his time to get probably carted off forever in a fucking hell hole in America? Free your sons, free your sons. You know what side I'm on. You know what time it is, as they say. Um, Ant and Deck are in the dog Ant and Deck are in the doghouse because somebody swore on the somebody said the F word on the family friendly Saturday night takeaway. And they had 110 complaints. Who the fuck has got the fucking time or the inclination to be bothered to phone up and fucking complain about that? You know what I mean? That tells me I'm never, ever going to get on the TV because my every other word is a swear word. And it's not by, as I said before, no fault of my own. That's my mo my mother's fault. But still, there's a place for it. <laughs> and this is it on the internet where nobody can see it. But still, I mean, really, can you really be bothered to go and pick up the phone on a Saturday night and fucking, you know, eat that stuffy? you got to go and get a life or go and get a fucking, you know, go out and have a look out the window of what's going on in the fucking real world. <laughs> you soon be going, ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I can't go down the shop now because everyone's been quarantined. For fuck's sake. Yeah, exactly. And then you'll you'll see the power of what a fucking uh, a good swear word can do. I don't get people like that. I just think it's like you know, 
you're giving yourself a fucking heart attack worrying about shit like that. They're probably just on it all night, and they God. And then the next day, I'm gonna phone up. Fuck it, it's been bothering me too much. I'm gonna put that call in. Drop a minute. Get Ant and Deck off the screen because some woman swore in the crowd. Um, get them off the screen. My personal opinion. Get them off the screen anyway. Get me on there. That's where I need to be. Prime time. Um, wash. Prime. I'll tell you what, just to piss people off. That will do. When all this, when all this uh, situations ended, everyone's going to become hermits. They're not going to. They're going to get used to being stuck in the house, and they're going to go, "Oh, fuck that! I don't want to go back to work." So, put me on the TV, and I'll soon make the TV fucking that unhabitable for them that they won't want to sit and watch it, and then they'll go out and fucking go back to work. Pretty much the same as what the the reverse is now for me because I can't fucking watch TV anyway because I'd rather go out than watch EastEnders and all that crap that's on TV and Ant and Dick no I like Ant and Dick they're alright I don't like I'm a celebrity um, but most of the other stuff X Factor and all that bollocks I can't be bothered more than 9 in 10 couples admit to bunking on the washing machine Who's going around asking these questions? Seriously, somebody like I've been stopped in the street, but usually it's for like some kind of charity thing. I never been fucking stopped asking you, mate. You, you ever shagged anybody over the washing machine? It's an unusual question. Is it the Daz doorstep challenge? Uh, one in three say they've done it in a, and one in three say they have done it while in the middle of a cycle. Well, that's what I expected to fucking be on. <laughs> Why else? Just going to do it while it's off. Is there any fucking reason to, to let us know that then? Otherwise, I, my pin, my thought was that that's the reason that you, you're shagging on it to get the extra thrill. The throbbing appliance is second only to the bed as the most popular place to have sex. Really? What about the sofa? Surely the sofa's fucking right up there. Usually your fucking parents' sofa. <laughs> Sorry, parents, but your kids are downstairs shagging. Can you hear the TV? I'm really loud. Well. And they'll have put something in front of the door, and then they'll like you know so that you have to make a noise to, so they can quickly. I will tell you what, I've been. Who hasn't been caught in that situation? Um, the shower, the sofa, and the floor are predictably popular, but more than half have romped on the kitchen. Uh, but more than half have romped on the kitchen counter. What? Where I make my tea in the morning, <laughs> shared house. <laughs> But you make your tea and your like and your breakfast or some people well that's what you get if you're gonna be a student and butter your toast on the side instead of on a plate like any normal person. Somebody's fucking fat ass has been on there shagging the night before. That's what you get. That's what you get. And you know, now this day and age, now we're taught we know how to fucking antibacterial everything first, currently at the moment anyway. I'm like fucking Mr. Muscle going around doing everything. And it's only me here. <laughs> um, the garden. I'm not having sex on the fucking thing by myself, though. Um, on the kitchen top. Right, where was I? Um, I think I'm going to leave it. Well, I've got one more thing. Have I got one more? I'm running out of things. Oh, the Dale Boy thing. Remember I said the other day, the Dale Boy, Dale Boy super fan who quit his job to create a replica of the Trotter's living room. I think that was the one that was at the exhibition, wasn't it? It looked brilliant. And I tell you what, I only paid 2000 for all the bits. And I said I've had half them things, buying and selling them in the past. The, 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 the cocktail bar and the fucking uh, sideboards and everything. I've had all that. And he's created the, the Dale Boy's living room. <laughs> he's got voices sitting in it there. Um, and now it's been kiboshed because there's no public gatherings. He was renting it out and taking it on tour for people to uh, spend and sit in the living room. Can't, you, can, you can get them to come around, set it up in your house, and just get people to come around there. Do they have to fucking put a Hamzat suit on and come in and go, yeah, it's like Del Boy's living room, isn't it? But we'll have to fucking, you know, get the full mask on and everything. Do it like Apocalypto, Only Falls and fucking Apocalypse. <laughs> Do it that way. Still trying, it's got to try and turn a fucking book some way, ain't it? We're all having to turn, we're all online now. This is why. This is where I'm going to get boom on the internet because everybody's indoors looking for something non entertaining looking for something entertaining, but they'll find me instead. And you know, they'll have to make the right. Um and the plumber. Uh what's this one? 
Oh, yeah, two more then. And it's back to the fucking uh, same as what we've been talking about. Desperate shoppers film queuing for nearly a third of a mile outside a Costco branch. Third of a mile. Footage. I mean, Costco's big, isn't it? Just, I told you before, see the footage of them running through the Costco the other day with the trolleys, like some fucking Mario Kart race. To the far end, because the toilet rolls were at the far end, and they were right at the far end, fucking... And that's what they went for. Nobody went for the food. Everywhere was straight to the toilet roll, and they were, like, fucking having it at the back. If I was at, if I was in a queue, and I was a third of the mile back, I'd just give it up and say, fuck it, there's no point. I ain't going to bother. I'd rather just fucking buy rations from some... you find something somewhere. I certainly wouldn't be in that queue. No way, Jose. By the time you get there, it'll have all gone anyway. You'll be the one who's having to punch somebody for it or get arsy with somebody because they've got it all and they've had the last one. Well, last one. A family have been left with no heating or hot water. Oh, this is a sh I can't finish on this. <laughs> it's all about the fucking virus. Left with no heating or hot water because the engineer refused to fix their boiler for fear of the virus. Because what? Oh, that was it. Because one of them coughed, wasn't it? He heard a cough. And the and he fucking done one. He said the uh, two hours to to fill the bath for with a kettle. Is that to do? Um, he could have just fucking put something over his face, couldn't he? I mean that is like over the top. Could at least fucking get a mat, go and fetch a mat. I don't know what the fuck he could have done. Just put your t-shirt up here, or get them to stand away from you. That's it. It's not in the fucking. But people don't know, do they? This is where the education's. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, they ended up with no heating. That's fucking shit. But there's more things that are gonna come uh, that are gonna be fucking, you know, you're gonna laugh these things off in the future, aren't we? Um, last thing I'm gonna do, five, five people have been arrested over a prank video that showed aubergines raining from the sky in the Iranian capital, Tehran. <laughs> Who's got time for the, it was, a, it was they were making a fake video, like a prank video, dropping aubergines from somewhere and they got arrested for it. A clip of a man talking as the eggplants appeared to tumble in front of the landmark, the landmark of Milan Tower. I don't even understand. What, what is the relevance of that to anything? Aubergines falling from the sky. I think everyone's like, Do you know what, mate? We've got a fucking virus problem here. You're pissing me off with your stupid pranks, throwing aubergines all over the place. We've got a fucking serious thing going on. That's probably what they were thinking. No time for... Uh, no time for aubergine jokes. So, uh, I mean, unless aubergine's sacred over there, I've no idea what the fucking deal is, but it doesn't even say what the reason for. They said that we, we, we were doing an experiment for uh, special effects, but he ended up banged up for it. So, uh, anyway, um, we've got worse things to worry about, I think, and hopefully we're all going to fucking get through it and we're all going to have a, a good time at the end of the day when it's all finished. Um, but it's not going to be for the next few days while we're all stuck indoors. Anyway, find something entertaining or something uh, creative to do with yourselves. Um, otherwise, look out for my podcast here again on Monday and every day next week. See you later for now. Bye. See ya. Bye.